Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, before we start, guys, I want to talk about a couple of things, guys. So um, there's a lot of people have been losing money. Let me switch this over to this side, guys. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been losing money in these markets, and I see it all over Twitter. I see it all over my DMs. People are asking, help me, help me. And then, you know, before, a long time ago, we used to have a an option to help people more often because uh, we had a monthly. And but the problem with the monthly is the fact that people were not serious. They, you know, they came, they gone, and they caused trouble, and, you know, they were just not serious because, you know what? In order to successfully become a consistent and profitable day trader, you can't just go in for a day or a week or even a month and expect to have a Lamborghini every week, right? To make big time money. That's not how it works. It's like if you want to make doctor and lawyer type wages, those guys go to school for four years, 10 years, 12 years. So you can't even give give day trading a year to learn. So that's why we said, you know what, screw this, screw the monthly, and let's just keep to the annuals. Because you know what, to be realistic, you need a few months to learn to trade, guys. And so if you want to learn how to day trade successfully, become a consistently profitable day trader, you have to put in the focus. You can't just come in for a month and try to copy other people's day trades and expect to make money. And this is why a lot of these pump and dump uh, chat rooms getting in trouble now, you know, because they they make it seem as if you just copy their trades. You, this is why we do not alert. We do not alert. We actually teach you to trade. We make you become self sufficient. We do not give out alerts. We want you to learn to day trade, and that's the difference between us and pretty much every other service out there. So let me bring up Alex because he uh, this was his idea. And I, I totally agree with it because, you know, what, it's very. And so we're going to try to bring something back and hopefully it works better this time. I'm bringing Alex on right now. Hey, can you see me? Yes, sir. Hey, you're looking good, dude. What's up, bro? I just, I just came back. Hair. <laughs> yeah, I got to still get that haircut. <laughs> uh, no, you look good, dude. You look like a, you look like a fucking um, little model, man. You got a little wave action in your hair now. <laughs> going out li longer i like it i like it the beard is looking good too dude what's going on this vegas doing you good dude yeah i went to vegas for a bachelor party guys it was, it was fun we drove some cars we saw Cirque du soleil which was like a cool acrobatic show uh here we are back trading i actually landed from my flight at 6 a.m yesterday and i immediately got home at seven and just started trading so we're always here we're always working you know we're never stopping but yeah, like Bao was saying, I mean, it's, it's crazy, guys, because I mentioned it in yesterday's video is what the money that people made in 2020 was life changing. The money that people made in 2021 was life changing. And the money that they lost in 2022 was life changing, right? So that's the thing, guys. We've been getting a lot of people asking us for help. We've been getting a lot of people saying that, you know, their gurus, their mentors are losing money. So imagine if your guru, your mentor, the guy you're trying to learn from is losing money in this market. What possible chance do you have of making money in this market? So I showed this yesterday, guys. I'm going to show it to you guys again. This is my broker statement from Success Trader for the year so far. You can see my entity, Alex Temi's Temi Trading LLC. And you can see the short-term gains are $1.4 million in four months. So in a market cycle where everyone is losing, actually, let me show you guys my biggest gains too while we're at it, right? So gains and losses. So these are my uh, biggest gains go, All right. So show this. Uh, show the website again. Go up. Because a lot of people think that you can't make money trading, man. It's, it's the weirdest shit. It's like, I guess me and you have been just sitting around for decades just faking it. So shit, I, I just don't get it, right? Uh, Goldman Sachs makes money. Every The biggest money wealth maker in the history of mankind has been two things, right? What is it? Stocks Stock and real market. estate. That's exactly. it. So I don't under so people I don't see people trolling other people for for real estate. That's the weirdest shit, right? Because they believe in real estate, but for some reason, stock market it's just like, dude, no one makes money. If no one makes fucking money, why are the biggest companies in the world are all Wall Street firms? Exactly, exactly, and that's the thing, guys. There's there's certain it's like it's like depending on the type of job you have or the top of like if you work at mcdonald's 24 7 your opportunity is not going to be as high as if you work at goldman sachs at mic we're teaching you how to become a goldman sachs style trader because the same strategy that they use we pretty much do it too if not better 
So when everyone asks for help, when everyone asks for help, what happened in the past is when we did the monthly membership, they would come in for a month and say, we're Lambo. And after a month, when they didn't make $10 million, they walked away. And we decided, you know what, that's enough. We don't want to help those people that are lazy. So what we did this time is, yes, we're bringing back the monthly membership for a couple of days only, literally a couple of days only, just to bring in those serious people that might not have the means to get an annual membership. But, you know, if you guys are going to come in and leave after a month, it's not really even worth your time because it's going to at least take you a month to watch the beginner videos. You guys are learning a new language. You guys are learning a new uh, something brand new. Imagine, do you think you're going to be an expert in Chinese in one month? It's impossible. But if you put in the work, you're going to find success. So if you guys are interested in joining the monthly, we're going to be doing a giveaway with it. So we're going to be doing a giveaway to win a free annual membership. And we're going to be doing a giveaway to win a free one-on-one -on -one mentorship phone call with me. Uh, the website is myinvestingclub.com slash spring. And this is what it looks like, guys. These are your options. So if you go to the landing page, myinvestingclub.com slash spring, you'll see everything that's included. And you'll also see testimonials, uncompensated. These are real member testimonials, not paid actors. I'm just going to stop at a random place. First time green in two weeks, $1,800. First green month, $14,000. So, I mean, that's, that's the thing, guys. If you guys are serious about learning, if you guys are losing money in this market, we're over here making millions in a bear market. So if we're able to make millions in a bear market, I mean, when the market heats up again, we're going to make tens of millions, right? So, Val, I know you have to talk show, about- Show them also, wait, show them the- uh... One of the reasons also, because in order to, to fight a good war, you need weapons and you need ammunition. And so, so that's true. Talk about that. So why do they need a good broker? Yeah, that's actually a really good point, too, guys. And then so, show your, uh, your rebates, too, man, because they don't believe that shit, right? No one ever believes anything online. So we have to show right. it. Let me actually pull that up here in one second. So, guys, the broker that we use now is called Success Trader. And the reason why we use them is because – their commissions are way cheaper than everyone on the street. And in my opinion, their locates are cheaper than anyone on the street as well. So last year, I paid almost $300,000 in fees. And that's a lot of fucking money to be paid out in fees. But this year, it's going to be a fraction of that because my broker is better, right? And this broker has a specialized route called the MIC route. That's commission. I mean, that's rebates are higher than your commissions. So if you look at this, my routing... For March, for March 2022, I got rebated $14,000. I got a rebate of $14,000 just for using the MIC route, guys. And this is why we recommend this broker. So all the other brokers out there, the commissions are cheaper as Success Trader. The rebates are higher and locates are lower. Again, this is all in my opinion, but it's a no-brainer, guys. If I close my account at other places and I only use this and I'm up $1.4 million already, I mean, there's no excuse, man. Great, man. So you need a combination of a good mentorship. First of all, you need to learn how to trade and you need a place to trade. <laughs> so that's pretty much what you need, right? So, yep. And I think about your topic today is front side and back side. So we have a lot of people that ask questions about that because they think it's as simple as if it's above VWAP, it's front side. If it's under VWAP, it's back side. And RDBX yesterday and today is a perfect example of front side and back yep. side. So. so let me show you all that, guys. So thank yep. you, Alex, for coming along, man. All right, guys. So I want to show you this. This is a... This is a topic that we can probably talk about for hours on end, years on end, because, you know, everybody's definition is different. Uh, there's many different ways to calculate it. And that topic is a very controversial topic, guys. It's called, you know, because there's people talking about front side. What's the front side? What's the back side? And there's even indicators that, that you can buy and that tells you what it is. So let me tell you about the indicators, okay? Indicators is just as good. It's only as good as the person that's, programming the information in there so i'm not going to bash on indicators or anything like that you know because you know what? if it helps you it helps you there's a lot of indicators out there that help me and help mic and we recommend them and then there's other indicators that just i don't you know that they don't work for your strategies things like that so i'm not here to bash indicators i'm just here to explain the fact that indicators are nothing more than a tool i can give a hammer to a monkey okay and the monkey depending on if he knows how to use the hammer can use the hammer to break coconuts and eat the inside of the coconut, or he can take the hammer and hit himself in the head, or he can take the hammer and hit another monkey in the head. So that tool, that hammer I gave him, could be used in many different fashions, most of which 
is not the manner in which I want him to use the hammer. I wanted to give him the hammer so he can break the coconut to eat the food. But then he found 10 different ways to use the hammer. And some of those are even more effective than, than freaking uh, breaking the coconut, right? And so the hammer can be used to kill himself. Same thing with an indicator, guys. So an indicator is just a tool. Is how you use it in the context you use it. So a lot of the things we 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 talk about a volume weighted average price, which is the VWAP, which is very important. I use that every day. Alex and I use that, and we teach that. But by no means that is the holy grail. So when you learn a new tool, every new trader thinks that by learning a new tool. Oh my gosh, the holy grail, holy god, man. And so I see people on Twitter just learning how to do um, data. All like, oh my god, man, I found the holy grail. I'm never gonna fucking lose again. Oh, I'm all about data, man. So all night they're scrubbing for data and they're like, I'm like, what the fuck are you gonna do with the data, bro? <laughs> First of all, you have to create a process around the data to use it effectively. You need to be able to know how to monetize using that data. And so, just having data alone, just having a, a, a hammer by itself is not enough. You have to know when to use it. So backside, front side. So, the def so the, this is my definition, guys, okay? The definition for a lot of these people used to think that if it's under VWAP, volume weighted average price, it's going to be the backside. If it's over, it's going to be the front side. And you know what, man? It's valid for whatever person's usage of that term is because you know what? That is the cr one correct way to do it, okay? But it's not the only one. It's correct as long as you can use that to make money in the context of your strategy. So, for example, you talk about VWAP, but then you can talk about the world of VWAP. You know, there's like many different VWAP. People think there's just one. No, you can you can do it for intraday. You can do it for pre-market. Also, you can do it for daily daily VWAP. Like, you know, like tr stocks don't just trade one day and, sh and, and just end their career, right? The stocks have been trading for many days ahead of time. So, an example is RDBX. So, let me, let me turn up to this. You can also have VWAP stemming back a week so for example this is a crazy chart rbbx okay look at this man this is total trap city you know look at this every day has been going up let me pull up even a let me try to this is a 10 day chart let me see what 15 days look like even crazier man this thing started at like under two dollars came to ten dollars guys Where's the backside? Where's the fucking front side? It's it's confusing as hell. The, if you want to be precise, guys, backside, front side, it's where the trend changes, okay? Where the trend changes. But then asking yourself another question, what is trend? Is another freaking rabbit hole. It's like, where is the trend? Look at this. This thing was going up and then went down. It trapped. It went back up. It went down. So where's the front side? Where the hell is the back side? And then parabolic. So in this case, guys, in this case, there is really no – the back side and the front side, dude, they can happen at the same time. This, this, this right now looked like the back side, but then this could be the start of the front side, just like this. So the way you tr use that information, it doesn't matter what the front side, back side is. It matters on your strategy, guys. What's, what are you using this information for? Because if you call this the backside, but this is actually consolidation. Some other guy can use it for consolidation. because it's, it's been consolidated for three days. I'm going to buy it because it's clean. It cleared out. If you take a look at this, it goes up, it goes down, it cleans itself out, right? And then it goes up, it goes out, it cleans itself out. It goes up, it cleans itself out. It goes up, and now it's all crazy. So now this is the squeeze. And so what happens is this, guys. This is a, what we call a blow-off top for short squeezes. And so now this is – is this really front side? This is still front side, though. Is this back side? Well, now it's pretty looking like it's pretty fucking back side. But you see how confusing it is? But if you take a look at the one-day chart, this thing was front side. <laughs> now it's back side. Now it's front side. So, so how do you use this information, guys? So I, I just want to dispel the fact that – there is no front side, no back side that 
covers every single strategy. It's based upon your strategy, guys. So in, in MIC, we teach a concept called conforming to the chart. This stock does not conform to the chart. There, the, the front side becomes the back side, becomes the front side. How the hell you can know? So the way you use VWAP is this. So let me talk about VWAP really quickly, guys. So VWAP is a volume weighted average price. It just calculates where the average buys and sells are of a stock, okay? And then to get even more accurate information, you bring up what's called volume profile. So forget just VWAP. Now you have this thing called volume profile that shows you the price and where the most of the volume are. So in this case, the volume is scattered all over. So this is why we came up with a concept called the death line. Let me see if we can see the death line for this, S-N-O-A. See, look at this, guys. So all this is stock is S-N-O-A. It ran all the way back up. So what's front side, what's back side, right? Right now, S-N-O-A is a, the, uh, the, uh, the VWAP is 382. So I don't have it on my thing, but I have it on this screen here. Uh, let me take a look at this stuff here, S-N-O-A. Give you guys free lesson here. So this is VWAP right here. So technically, this is front side because it's trending up. So when we talk about front side, guys, most of the time people talk about trend. When it's trending, it's still trending up. So when you talk about trend, trend can go on for a, a minute. It can go on for an hour. It can go on for a day. It can go on for a week. It can go on for a year. It can go on for 10 years. It depends on your time frame. So now we opened up another can of worms called time frame. You can have multiple time frames. You know what I'm saying? So depending on your strategy, if you are a swing trader, your time frame is going to be a lot longer than a scalper. So your freaking trend is going to be different than us. So it depends on the time frame, how many days you look out, how many years you look out, how many minutes you look out. It's going to change. So the definition of front side, back side for them, it's going to be totally different. You see that, guys? So you see the complexity of the front side, back side thing? And so when all they're talking about is, it's all in relation to something. So you have to understand the, the relativeness of who is telling you, talking about what backside, front side is. As a day trader who's short, intraday most of the time, mostly time, 99% of time, intraday, front side, back side for me refers to the intraday front side, back side, refers to the, the trend on a more minute time scale, on a smaller time frame. So my so, but for a swing trader, you go, that's your fucking bullshit, because he's looking on a yearly time frame. So, so you have to be careful on where, uh, who, and what this backside front side applies to. And this is where a lot of the confusion, a lot of losses come because, you know, some guy goes, this is the backside, this is the backside, go all in. And then you go all in and get squeezed. And then it goes back down after you get squeezed, right? And you're like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, because he's looking at it from a, a one month time frame that, you know what, he's going to start nibbling in every fucking day the short. Because for him, his time frame is a year. Your time frame is an hour. So front side, back side. It's all trend. It's all relative to the time frame. It's all relative to the strategies. What and then you determine what the front side, back side. There's no one front side. There's no one back side, guys. And that's the fucking truth. <laughs> because you know what? When I'm looking at this shit, it's like you know, how even within an intraday scalper level, uh, there's multiple time frames, right? You look at the minute chart, the five minute chart, the 15 minute chart. Those things can vastly differ between backside and front side. So if you're looking at 15 minute time intervals, within that 15 minutes, you've, you've already gone backside, front side a hundred times, potentially, right? You can, it's channel trading up and down. You don't know what the hell is going on. But then when you look at 15 minutes, you can clearly see that within that 15 minutes, front side and back side. So here's a trick for you guys. Look at multiple time frames. Don't just look at one minute and three minute and five minutes. Maybe try to change to 15 minutes, one hour. And then look at the daily chart. So then you can have a big picture. So a lot of people ask me, do you just use a line chart? Do you use a line chart, a pie chart, a whatever chart you want? I go, use as many charts as you can to paint the picture and understand what the stock is doing in relation to your strategy, guys. So there it is, guys. So the way I use VWAP, though, I'm talking about VWAP really quickly, is to quickly get a pulse of who is stuck, are long stuck or are short stuck? And then, but I use the volume profile, 
there's a little secret, guys. Volume profile. You know what I'm saying? So this is where most of the volume occurs. So so basically, bag holder city, all the volume up here, the buying volume up here is up here. So if it goes under here, we call that the death line. So right now, SNOA is in a death line kind of mode. But if it's a low float, it has a lot of volume and is highly manipulated and owned tightly the sh uh, float shares, it can, they can break the death line. But most of the time, I would say 90% of the time, once, once, a, once a stock breaks a certain line, we call it the death line, it's very difficult to come back because there's a back holders all over. Every time it pops, someone wants to sell. Whew. Any questions, guys? We, we said a lot in this, this video. You may have to watch it many times. But once again, I'm going to summarize. Backside and front side is relative to your strategy, relative to the time frame that you do it, guys. So there is, there is my answer. A lot of people say it's bullshit, bullshit. But you know what, man? Um, in trading, guys, everything is relative, guys. You make a little money, you think it's a lot, and it's not a lot. You thought you, you short the, the top is only the temporary top. You thought you covered that. But the bottom is not the bottom, right, guys? Somebody bought it before you. So it's all relative to the it's, – so it's all context, context. So just like reading the tape is context. You can't, you can't just look at a fucking bunch of prints and tell me what the hell is going on. It's contextual to the chart. So if you hit a resistance and you see prints and it's, it's hiding shares, oh, okay, that's the resistance. Someone's selling, okay, versus someone buying. So it's all relative and contextual to the situation you're at. Uh, the death line, we have videos on that, guys. I want to keep this short and sweet, guys. Um, a lot of information. So we want to talk about the sell again, myinvestingclub.com slash spring. Any information, you can text Tosh. It's on our website, myinvestingclub.com. There's more information there, guys. And then we will talk as much as you want inside MIC, front side, back side, VWAP, death line, everything you want. But check out the videos. It's free on myinvestingclub.com. Um, there's a video, I mean, uh, My Investing Club, the YouTube channel as well. So, all right, guys, get on this sell. Uh, it's a limited time. We're bringing back the monthly, guys. So hit us up because once it's gone, it's gone. So, you know, we, um, we're taking – so use this opportunity, guys, to learn because the market is slow. People are losing. This is the perfect time to join, guys.